So right now there is uh, three studies we're very excited about. The first study is going to be the first study for level breast cancer in the U.S. that's using a ROS1 inhibitor called Repotrectinib, which is the best in class ROS1 inhibitor currently used in non-small cell lung cancer. We're going to study it in combination uh, plus minus uh, uh, an endocrine therapy called Fulvestrin uh, in patients who had their cancer progress on first-line therapy with a CDK4-6 inhibitor. Um, again, this is going to be the first US-based lobular dedicated study. It's going to be activated within the next few days. Uh, but there is two studies that are going to be opening very soon for the early setting. Uh, one of them that's going to target HER2 mutation. So in lobular breast cancer, we found that HER2 mutations are enriched. So about 15% of uh, lobular breast cancer express HER2 mutation, where only about 5% of ductal cancer do. So because of that, because there's three times the amount of HER2 mutation, we are going to open a study for the patient who have the HER2 mutation to receive a HER2-directed therapy called neratinib plus an endocrine therapy in the early setting. And the third study that's also we finally got the nod from uh, the company that has the drug is using an AKT inhibitor, which we found, uh, again, to be hyperactive in lower breast cancer irrespective of a mutation. And this is going to be the third study also for the early stage, and it's going to be for all comers with lower breast cancer. Um, so these are the three studies that are going to be open in the uh, short term.